Hello, everybody, Aaron here, and I'm with Lillian. Hey, guys. And welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. So, we are going to be working on... Um, Professor Sharp's assignment. Yeah, Professor assignment. Sharp's assignment. Let's see. Come on in. Healing potions of a speciality here, should you need any. Sorry that the game audio was not there for a moment. <laughs> I just looked down and I was like... Wait a second, where's the game audio? Okay, so it looks like Jay Pippins has both of the ingredients that we need right. for the potions. Sweet. So I looked, oh, I, we looked surgeon? previous and we are each missing one ingredient for each of the potions that we need. So we figured we could do it and kind of show off a little bit of the potion making. Where the heck is Jay Pippins' shop? Um. I only oh, know I how to fast travel to it, man. What can I, do I for bought you the today? wrong ingredient. Okay, so he doesn't have shrivel fig. I'm wondering if I hope to see uh, where does she that other thing, if she might. Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember exactly what she Did you find Jay Pippins? I'm still wandering around. Okay. I'm lost. It's, it's in the um, northwest corner, kind of. Yeah. I vaguely know where it is. I just must be walking. Uh, it's nighttime in my game. If, it's hard to see. I wonder if the magic meat would Please, have shrivel fig. He does. Sweet. Now, you Where's the fast travel location? There it is. See, I know exactly where it is from that fast travel location because that's how I always come here. Um, I am going to go ahead and buy mallow sweet seeds from the magic neep. Because oh yeah, we'll need that. That'll be good in the future. Okay, so you so we need troll bogey, which we can purchase one of. No one can say I don't care. Uh, and then you said. Uh, the Magic Neep, which is... Um, That's that lady's store up north, No, right? it's the guy's store that oh, okay. we so bought the other ingredients. That's right. So over here. And with that, we can head back to Hogwarts. Potions classroom. Okay, so these are the different seeds. So Malo Sweet. Do I just buy all of them so that I just have them? You can. That's how that works, right? You just have it? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, they're not that much. It's true. I figured I'd hold off until I can earn up a bit more. Yeah, that's fair enough. Okay, then I'll buy one shrivel fig so I don't have to grow one right now, because otherwise that's going to be more time. All right. Oh, he has a... There's I'll a Revelio page next Thunder to him. Brew, since that's Magic Neep take a card. Bit this longer. card belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. Okay. Now I can... Fast travel over back over to Hogwarts. I'm gonna go ahead and run over to Herbology because I know I probably have some Dittany that's ready to harvest. Pro oh, same, yeah. And I, uh, Thunder Brew is brewing at the moment, so Sweet. I gotta wait on that. Yeah, there'll be a little bit of of a wander around and see what we're doing. Nope, that is the wrong button. Think Where I the heck am I? some more wig and weld, so that'll be good. I've always said that travel broadens. I am I'm maxed out on wig and weld right now. I have about five before I'm maxed out. Okay, so that's gonna take a minute and a half. The funny thing to me, so the, like the brewing and the growing oh. uh, stuff, always just kind of reminds me of like those the the uh, like mobile games. That's fair. Type thing, but it's really not that way it's just i haven't played many games where it's got a timer like that i um found a a key in the main hall uh next to the door that you would go through to get to the potions classroom oh yeah yeah so if you want to if you're near there and you can grab it i'd recommend it i just went and grabbed my ditney so where was it Okay, so you just grabbed your di Actually, it's over by the greenhouse, the herbology corridor. So okay. if oh, you... Oh, I see the key. Okay. I remember this one. I think this was like one of the first ones I ever did when I was... When I, I first played I the was, game. I thought I was over by potions, so I got confused for a second. Yeah, it's over here. Darn. I tried like the right at the beginning, but it was Aww. already... It was not in the middle at the beginning. No, mine wasn't either. There we go. Sweetness. There's also a uh, a math door right here. Yeah, I think I had it that solved. Seven, 
plus two is 13 minus 21. That would be 18, 19, 20, 21. So that'd be the spider. Oh, that Livioso statue is okay. behind a locked door. And that one is that spider, which is five. And right. Medusa, which that is... is not the right one either. Only goes up to nine, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine, so nine is the highest. So number. that's 14, so we would need three, which is the three-headed thing. Uh, it's up here, right? Yep. Okay, Thunderbrew is ready. Let's see, invisibility potion. So that'll take another minute. Cool. Gotcha. Math is not my strong suit, but I can figure it out. <laughs> now, I saw that... That looks like it's in the library, maybe? I don't have a spell to be able to do that yet. There's a key in here. like that's not how that should work but i'm going to go ahead and ignore that what i just walk straight into the restricted section during the day like yeah. i get that it's open after you do that quest but it, yeah it feels kind of naughty doing that yeah a little bit i noticed there was a chest that i hadn't collected so oh, okay okay my thunder roof should be ready by now okay i think maybe it's been a minute I could go ahead and check on my invisibility potion. Aha! Okay, and then invisibility potion. Literally 60 seconds. What? Is there anything around? Wait, oh, there's a page next to him? Is there? Off on another yeah. Adventure, we? Professor Sharp's R badge. R's comprise the ministry's magical law enforcement and protect the wizarding world from all sorts of threats, particularly those posed by dark magic. This our badge belongs to Professor Sharp. Interesting. It's also a chest, but that's behind a locked door. Oh. Sorry, Professor Sharp. I didn't mean to knock down all the books. Also, can I just talk to him? Yeah, what does seems he have like to say? you can. Oh, yeah. Professor, I saw an R badge on your desk. Can I ask about your time as an R? Professor. I saw an aura badge on your desk. May I ask about your time as an aura? Mm, observant. I suppose I could indulge you for a moment. Spent years tracking down reprobates who dealt in artifacts of dark magic origin. Sounds dangerous. That sounds positively exhilarating. Exhilarating? Hmm, it was at that. While it lasted, at any rate, I enjoyed a great deal of success as an Fair aura. enough. However... Success can make one complacent if one's confidence is not tempered by humility. One overstep in battle changed everything. May I ask what happened? Yes, well, I suppose it's a matter of record. My partner and I had tracked a suspect to a harbor in Scarborough, trying to smuggle shrunken heads of all things. I had deduced that he was working alone. I was mistaken, and they knew we were coming. From the moment we stepped onto the ship, well... I barely escaped with my life. My partner wasn't so lucky. I... I suppose being an aura is dreadfully dangerous. Oh. I'm sorry. <sighs> it is that. But survival is not guaranteed for any of us. Pay attention. And not just within my class. This is what I must impress upon you all. A potion and a poison may be a mere breath apart. Until you consume the wrong one. Well said, Professor. Hmm. It is kind of cool that you could talk to the professors. And there's my invisibility potion. Oh, so good. 
that just means if we I just gotta the, use them. Just gonna re read the thing again. Acquire and use a thunder potion, thunder brew potion against an enemy. Right. So that's gonna be the hard part there. Part so. of me is just tempted to just use the invisibility potion right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought about it too. Um, is there somewhere specific we want to head? Um, good question. Uh, there's a mongrel lair south of of uh, Lower Hogsfield we could go to. Like in a grove of trees just south of it oh i see that probably would work so fast travel to lower hogs field yeah it sounds good okay we're gonna be heading this way all right it's only 400 meters away not too shabby Soon we'll get brooms. Yeah, soon. I mean, flying class is the main objective. And you can oh. travel quite quickly on a broom. Something almost saw me. <laughs> As I get closer, I'm probably gonna... How long is the invisibility potion good for? Four seconds. Wow. Yeah, that's not long. I guess it's so that you can kind of get out of combat, to be fair. That's fair. So that you can quickly drink an invisibility potion and, and move away. Here, disillusion. Now, how do you use Thunder Brew Potion against an enemy? Do you just, uh, you just consume it once you're in a fight and... Which is done um, and damage by enemies for 30 seconds. Okay. Interesting. Ow. I think a spider saw me. Fair enough. I'm almost there. Only 85 yeah, meters I'm away. I'm here. So go ahead and use the Thunder Brew. There's just deer right next to the models then. Okay, I'm in combat. That's that. Nice, it's killing all of the mongrels. I think I hit one with a spell. There's more coming, but I hit one with a spell. That's good. Yeah, that wasn't a bad fight at all with Thunder Brew. That was kind of nice. I don't know if I really have a use for the invisibility potion. I just used it to get away from the mongrels for a second so, so the Thunderbrew could just do its thing. Fair enough. Yes. All right. Now it's time to return back to Hogwarts. I can't see what I'm doing. There's too many trees around. <laughs> another one or did I get it I got it sweet oh my gosh you have uncollected rewards in the challenge menu <laughs> okay Hogwarts map going back to the potions classroom have you finished your assignments I finished the tasks professor well well I trust you are meticulous in your efforts after all shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings okay Professor Sharp, oh, I did your assignment. Well, yes, sir, of course. Good. I did. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame. All went to perfectly well. Waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Fair enough. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Potion 
defend you. It seems you have a grasp on Defendo. I would encourage you once again to practice here in the class. Okay, Defendo. I use this spell a lot. It's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. <laughs> oh, really? I didn't level up. How rude. All right. So, flying class. Okay. Oh, uh, half a bottle of rubber biscuit. Is that just because I actually defended something, sir? <laughs> See, I defended the, the doll as I was leaving, and he said, It's such a, uh, it's so refreshing to have a student that actually listens to instruction. Uh huh. I was just like, Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not an actual door. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it? It is. Excuse me, door. Can you open up? Please. Oh, I just saw a murder occur. A murder? Yeah. What? It was the humming uh, suit of armor. Oh, His that. His companion got uh, a little upset. Incendio. I accidentally found a uh, one of those keys. I was uh, wandering slightly lost, so. Oh, you found a key? Yep. I was trying to get to flying class without having to teleport, but I'm probably going to have to teleport because I don't remember where it is. That's fair. Broken kind of broom. This broken broom belonged to Celine Wartnaby and is rumored to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating her exper experimental lunar apparition charm to fellow third years. No one knows if she succeeded. Good heavens. <laughs> all right. So I assume we'll probably have to wait since for me it's the middle of the night. It is day for me, actually. Wait. Quest begin. Okay. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clothan, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone? Please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom Thank flight you. is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it. Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Oh. <laughs> Up! There we go. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, okay, grab then. yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, uh, so fly slow right now. each ring <laughs> in the courtyard. Do <laughs> take oh, care. The brooms are school property. I, I, had my own I want them returned in there one piece. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with the okay, more then. advanced exercise, shall we? What are we doing? This next set of rings will take you around okay, the then. for more of a challenge. What have you? Hello. Hi, no Everett. <laughs> Brilliant.
Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. see wherever it is so yeah he's super far ahead isn't he oh, well done. no i don't go away <laughs> i say i watched you fly through those rings you seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough i'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging but i'm getting ahead of myself we met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. So, care to join me for a bit of high flying fun? Uh, won't we get in trouble? Yeah. Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. I guess that's fair enough. <laughs> it's a fair the point. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely Where are you, now. man? Oh, there you are. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Where are we going, Everett? Nice to get above it Good all, question. isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? <laughs> There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Plaintiffs and a George Yeah, it does appear to be. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Oh dear. Dismount here. And where have you two been? <laughs> oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class Oof. is finished for the day. <laughs> As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the Fair future. Enough. Chin up. That was Thanks. some rather good fly. <laughs> I feel like that's a... Uh... Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. Wish we hadn't gotten in trouble. Yeah. Perhaps. But we did get in trouble, and Kagawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she'd see us. But it's no matter. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. Fair enough. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Sounds good.
I was going to say, I think that hurt extra because both, uh, both him and I are. are in the same <laughs> yeah. house. Hey, I leveled up. That's good. Um, haven't gotten a new quest yet. No, but I, we should be able to go to Albi Weeks and uh, That's true. check oh. out a broom, see if we can afford it. Just got Sebastian's letter. Oh, Sebastian's letter coming in. Yep. I've not let's, head, let's head to Hogsmeade real quick. Yep. I haven't gotten his letter yet, but that should be fine. Hogsmeade, we're going to Albi Weeks, which is right here. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies. Away from prying eyes and distractions. Revenia. Got Professor Weasley's letter. Sprint witches, spint witches sporting needs. Uh, run by the amiable Albie Weeks, this shop sells all manner of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest broom models. Gossip around town is that Albie Weeks, Albie himself, is working on a number of broom enhancements. Hello. Mr. Weeks is I also got a letter from Albie Perry Pippin. Your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shopping and there's Professor Weasley. Trade routes were disrupted. Good heavens. To travel All of the letters. To to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Oh, excellent. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume Some place I can focus on my studies. <laughs> got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, oh, silver arrows. Over. Okay. Wind wisps. Hello, Albie. No matter what broom Ooh, I got the Celtic cape, finally. They're all exceptional, both <laughs> My in favorite quality cape. and performance. <laughs> You're so young, so man. Quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. Let's see. I probably have a decent today? amount to sell. Not I got a little bit too. With you. I am. Oh wait, I wasn't done. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Uh, not too bad for broom prices. I think I'll get the Hogwarts house broom. You'll be thrilled um, with that broom. I promise you. Yeah, let's have a look. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in okay. Gagawa's class, they all have their limitations. So we got the Ember Dash broom, perfect broom for those with a fiery temper. In, say, some broom and chance to celebrate your uh, ha, Hogwarts right house pride. You. I Moon Trimmer, Wind Wisp. I'm going to look at them just because I haven't looked at them before. To as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go will, with the Ember Dash again. That's what I did on my main playthrough, but I just... The others what look funky to me. To conduct the broom so, I'm going for an Ember Dash. To me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts Sell off this uniform and this cape, which that I literally just got, but I can now use an ideal thing. situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. Enhancements? Are we talking about steroids? Sounds good. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Sounds Once you've good. Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. All right, let's take a look at what we got. Huh. Uh, sounds like it's worth a try. How am I taller than this guy? That's a good question. Okay. So Sallow wants to meet up with us. Jay Pippins has the delivery. Okay, and Professor boy, Weasley wants to meet with us. Yes. I'm going to run over to Jay Pippins since we're already in Hogsmeade. Okay, yeah, that's fine. 
Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. See if I can find a shop quickly this time. Hello, Although I've got the Evan, quest marker. So. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no okay. trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang hey, ordered Jay a few Pippen. invisibility potions. I used to go myself. Uh, but lately, Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Sounds I'd good. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Okay, let's have it help. Uh, what can I do for you today? So this and that. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Fair enough. Okay. Do we have a preference of what spell, what spells we do, or not spells? What uh, thing we do? Um, uh, I'm hesitant to just keep those potions in my pocket in case I accidentally use them. Okay. Yeah, we can go do that delivery. Give us a chance to fly around a little bit. Yeah. Where is that? It's south of Hogwarts. Gotcha. I have to get out of the you can't fly here so. yeah I have to leave the town before you can fly i actually have to remember what key it is too that's fair you hmm. have to equip it first before you can use it possible oh uh tap tab and then three is that what it is yeah i just got the hint as i was leaving town oh i must still be technically in town didn't realize it was There we go. Okay. How dare you, Mr. Page? Literally <laughs> flew right next to a page. <laughs> so rude. Man. Being able to just fly around. Yeah. Like, I get the people are upset about not, like, having Quidditch in the game. Which, that fair seems enough. seems really complicated, though. Like, I, guess it could I feel be. like the controls are already complicated enough, and you can't really combat off the broom. So I can't even imagine what that would be like, to yeah. be honest. Between the complications of how to do it, which I can only imagine. And I get like some other people have been like, well, but they made a whole nother game. But at the same time, that's not the same devs. Avalanche isn't doing that. It's true. And the, these other ones obviously have had to have time to make this game. So, and that be their sole focus. So, I don't know. I don't necessarily get the issues. Like, it would have been cool to have Quidditch in this. And they probably at one point planned to. But it just wasn't feasible with the scope of this game. Yeah. Because anyway, I think... This is more or less the first, like, fully fledged game in this world that's not based on a movie. It's true. Or, like, technically there was a Quidditch game back in the day, but that was a long time ago. Okay, I'm about 600 meters away. I just got here. Although there are balloons right here, and I'm distracted now. So with these balloons, um, I think they eventually give you something to do with, with them, but uh, there are challenges around the world to Madame pop Luan, these balloons. I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did And there we go. Always cutting corners and taking the easy Simple way as that. Out. You just have to pop have five balloons. As well? Sometimes Doesn't they'll matter. be more difficult. Sometimes they'll you be as easy as that one was, where it's just anyway. a straight line. 
the but potion even if it's difficult, like you can see another line so there. Simple. Even if it's difficult, it's just really not, a hard, not a hard thing to necessarily do, just because it's not timed or anything. You'll not be getting a cannot out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. Well, I'm right here, so. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had Jeepers. a shop handed to him. The rest of us have to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. <sighs> Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. I should be going now. Thank you. Okay, then. Seems excessive. <laughs> Just a little. Always been keen on Keenbridge. Hang on to your valuables. That's all I'll say. Revelio. Such house, the locals call this the tilted house due to the odd angle at which it sits, wrapped in the roots of the overhanging. Very well. Okay, then. Oh, there's a Merlin trail right here. There is. That is so weird. Could it what be is this one? a Merlin trial? What is oh, it's this. Okay. What is it? Um, there is Oh, a, is there a rock? There's a ball that you have to roll, and I'm pretty sure you have to roll it across the bridge. Really? Yes. The pl place for it is across the bridge. Well, I I see the place where it needs to go. Where's the ball? It's on the other side of the bridge. Over where I activated the trial? Further over. Further? Where is this? I seriously Rebellion. don't... See it. Does it come up on Rebel... Oh. It does. Almost ran over a child with it. Lumos. Oh, that's not what I. I am having a hard time moving this. You using Depulso or Accio? Well, I'm using Accio, but it's. So I'm using Depulso seem... to push it around instead of trying to pull it around. There we go. I got it in a spot, and Accio is not moving it at Have all. Have you tried Depulso? Yeah, I depulso it into the spot. Yeah, I used Depulso the entire way. Right. Okay, we're supposed to return to Mr. Pippin. Yeah, first Click I gotta get this the wrong trial screen. over with. Sorry if I made anyone sick with that. I uh, clicked on the wrong screen <laughs> because my game is actually on my right screen. My uh, recording is in front of me. And so my brain went, oh, it's I need to click on the map. And I was on the wrong screen. Oops. And so I just dragged the, the game window around a little bit. <laughs> Sorry about that. Is it going? Yeah, I'm almost there. Nice. Slightly annoying. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, I missed it. No. If 
this was golf, I'd have a horrible score. Same. It's certainly difficult. Alright, there's my mouse. Alrighty then. Okay, just got the hogs mead. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Okay, okay, get over here. I delivered here. the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I, I want to see if I can grab that paper that was floating around and in front of me earlier. At least it's done with. There it it is. was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. Got it. Sweet. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions. Oh, I Mr. love Pippin. the remixed Do music in this care. game. Yeah, the music's really good. All right. With that, that's probably it for this episode. Yep. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please let us know, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye.